Hello, friends. Hello, everybody. Um, thank you for coming and watching and all that good stuff. I'm going to be going over some awesome packages that I've been sitting on for a couple days because I've been um, so busy watching everybody else's streams this weekend. <laughs> so um, I do have a stream that I want. I think one comes on at three that I've seen scheduled and one that is this evening. So I was like, I just need to jump on when I could and come see everybody. So um, one of the things I'm really excited about is I have a new setup. Um, I have a TV now in the room. So it's a nice 32 inch old. Um, I was able to get it free. So it is an older model, but it is a 32 inch that I have um, that it will eventually be on the wall. It right now doesn't have a stand. So I have it tilted up against the wall. Um, but it's working so far so good. I was able to uh, check. I've been streaming off of my laptop and um, I had a tower, but we never really um, used the tower. It was kind of put away because I thought it was um, pretty slow. Um, now my son was using it for gaming. But um, we're going to see how the tower works and how smooth my stream is with it. It showed like uh, the processor was faster. So I'm hoping that is true. We're going to see. But it's pretty cool to have that big screen in front of me and not have to squint. Although I don't have anyone in here commenting so I can see how the the comments look, but <laughs> but it will be nice when someone comes in so I can see. Uh, so let's just jump in and start doing this because like I said, um, I've been trying to go live, but everybody else has been live. And um, I hate to jump on when someone else is live that I enjoy watching their stream, but gosh darn it, there's just too many YouTubers and I would never be able to get on I'm, I'm not, I know you think I'm talking to you, but I'm not, I'm not, honey. I'm talking to all of my internet friends. Silly. So let's see. This one is from, let's see. I um, don't really recognize who it is. So they very well could have a fake name on, on, um, on YouTube or I, I could have also purchased whoever it is they really they really wrap this up nice <laughs> um, I could have bought it on Facebook too I do frequent some some sales sites on crafting sales sites on uh, I don't want to cut into it since I'm not really sure what I purchased here um, I do purchase some things on Facebook groups I also purchased something on Facebook Marketplace, which I'm going to show you. I'm ecstatic about. This looks like a napkin purchase that I made. Napkins, napkins, napkins. So let's see what's in here, all the pretty napkins I got. I have all these napkins. I need to start using them. Mm, looks like a Paris. Oh, seems like the camera is doing really uh, keeping up and and uh, oh, what is it? Um, focusing a little faster than on my laptop. What's wrong? Some stars, some pretty stars. You are what you drink. That's kind of fun. Or you are what you drink. I must have got two of each. Some polka dots. That is teal. On my on my screen over there, it's looking really blue, but that's teal. Oh, I don't even remember these. Um, those are cute. 
and some summertime. Summer, 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 summertime. Ooh, those have some pretty colors. Pretty colors. I woof you. Woof, woof. I don't, I think they sent me, I want, I, these don't look like something. I think this is a swap. That's what this is. That's what this is. This is a, this, I was like, I don't, I don't, I can't remember purchasing this. I, I'm, I was doing a napkin swap with a woman and that's who these are from. This is, I did not purchase these. Uh, I was like, I would, I don't think I would just, if this was, I mean, I love it, but I couldn't think that if I seen that one, that I would, I would like pay money on a, on a purchase for that. So yeah, I love the, oh, look at this. Look at the little pity. Color him brown and he would look like Chuck Chuck. Yes. Oh, these are great. Now I can do, she, she told me to hold off sending hers because, um, because she wasn't sure how many she could put in here. And how about, this is awesome because there's not a single one of these that I have, which means when I send her the stack from me, she's not going to have any that I have. And there's an Hermes. This is great. <laughs> Wine a little, you'll feel better. That is really fun. And I really like how there's like, like a newspaper writing. So on a tag, that would be really cool on the back of a tag. So that's cool. But how funny. I was, when I was going through, I was like, I just don't remember. I don't remember this one. I said, none of those. That's fun. But yeah, this must have, this must be from my swap. She didn't leave a, she didn't leave a little note. How am I supposed to know? Okay. And then this, this, this was one. No. This was something I purchased off Carehart. Um, I didn't do any links down below because honestly, I couldn't remember who all I purchased from and who all I was going through. So I will try to at least mention their names, of course. Uh, so this was from Carehart, and that's for the uh, Artists with Disabilities um, nonprofit. They uh, send wonderful art, arting supplies to um, artists that are disabled and they have to hit, they have to be in a certain, uh, you know, they, I think it's like your social security level, um, SSI is what I think it is. Cause I, I'm not that I need it and I would never go for it, but I did check to see where I would qualify and I don't. So the thre threshold is, um, I'm thinking kind of matched up with SSI. Um, so, oh, I'm getting a glare. There we go. No one's on here telling me, hey, you're glaring. Pretty little angels. These are postcards. So I thought these would be just nice as maybe tags or collage. You're like, who are you talking to, mom? I know, Jughead. You get so confused. So this was just something I like to do my best at participating because I love to help whoever I can. Um, I mean, I'm by far not rich or anything, but I do believe you give and you get, you then receive and I love to give. So, and then she just gives me a little, um, a thank you note and just tells me and gives me some extras. So I got some little extra things, which is so awesome that she does that little card with a thank you on it and a Rolodex card and an extra little and then of course here we go this will this is good this is there we go so if you are interested i highly ask and just suggest ask please go check them out it's daffy d-a-f-i if you want to check them out this is from care hard is it so i think it's doing pretty darn good uh it's www uh, disabled artist, D I S A B L E D A R T I S T S dot O R G. Go check them out. All right. Next, try and I have a really bad glare because this is a glass table. Love it for arting. And oh, okay, how fun. So simple and just so fun. I like making those. Let's grab this. I did open this prior. I was so excited, so I did open it. I wanted to see. Um, oh, hopefully, hopefully, y'all aren't getting my address. 
um, more napkins. <laughs> I didn't open open them up, but I did. Oh, there's my hair. Oh, but we'll say that's my hair, I'm sure. Um, this is from Journey of Crafting. Go check her out. Hey, Michelle, I was just saying, these are from you, aren't they, ma'am? This is my swap with you, right? Hi, Helen. What are you whining about, honey? There's who I was saying that I did a swap. I thought when, oh, Michelle, if you weren't in here, I was looking through those and I was like, I didn't recognize any of them. But it's because it was a swap with you. What's wrong? Do you have to go out? Of course you do because I'm, I'm live. Lay down. Lay down. I let you out right before we came. That's all right, Michelle. I figured it out after I started going through it and I looked at the name again and I was like, aha, that's who it is. That's where it's from. So these are ones that I did purchase and this is pretty. You're probably getting a sneak peek at some of the ones that you're going to get. <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> Some butterflies. Oh, look at there. Little deer that you can cut out and clouds. I think those are like apple blossoms or cherry blossoms. Seems like a lot of napkins have butterflies on them. <laughs> Must be the thing. It's a print on a napkin is butterflies. Butterflies and roses. This is a really neat, this is like a layered, already layered. It's pretty neat. And there's, there's actually a three layers there. There's this one, this one, and then that one. A rose and a butterfly. <laughs> well, I'm just glad I put it all together and figured it out. <laughs> figured out who it was. I was really trying to think too, like, I just don't remember these being on a sale. I don't remember buying these. <laughs> and then look at the other one. That's fun that it has the yellow in the background. You don't see that too, too often. Um, let me put these over here. All right. Um, let's do this box. This one is from, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe when I start opening, I will remember and I will do a shout out. Because of course, I always will do a shout out if I can. How is the stream? Is it looking nice and smooth to everybody? Um, if you weren't on earlier, I am trying a different computer so I'm hoping hoping it's smooth it's an older computer but after my son and I looked at the specs it actually is a faster computer than what I was using but sometimes I, I, we couldn't find out the um uh the video card though we didn't look that far into it to see which one had a better video card but i'm guessing the tower has a better video card oh i remember this one i remember this one this is all of my um these are new i got all these distressed oxide which if anyone watched my last video I was playing with, so I am excited to get more colors. Look at all of this wonderful, fun, fun, fun. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I was, I, um, who was it? Um, oh darn it, I don't know if it was Michaels or Joanne. Someone was having a really good sale. And I almost bought some because they were having such a good sale. Or maybe it was scrapbook.com I was looking at. Somebody was having a good sale. And I was looking at these and I had them all in my cart. And then I was like, no, you don't know which colors you got. And holy mackerel, people. These are marked $5.99. And I cannot remember who I got these from. But boy, 
Boy, did I get a good deal. Wow. I don't think I really realized there was this many, and I don't really think I realized they were brand new. It was one of our fellow crafters, um, fellow YouTubers that was de-stashing, um, trying to make some money. I believe, um, was she moving or visiting family? I can't remember. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I'm losing my breath. I cannot believe there was that many and that I want it. Wow. Okay. That is just, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty one, and they're all brand new. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, okay. This, okay. I remember this. She had this little thing, and I was not interested. I paid ten dollars for it. I was not really interested in this little thing, although um, it might kind of be neat on my desktop or sitting up here on my desk to hold um, different things. But what she, what I wanted, she had this thing stuffed stuffed with little fabric squats, uh, scraps and she oh look what I just found, found another one I'm waiting for my order from them that must be Michelle that may be where, where I seen them and I was going to get them and I was like, no, I better wait. It might have been that plan. I know I looked at two or three, you know, I was just playing around looking and putting them in my cart and then doing the coupon and then seeing what the total was. And oh, look who came to say hi. Hello, Miss Thing. This is a, this is Storm. <laughs> she is um, thinking that this TV is pretty darn neat because, you know, it's so, uh, it's so big. She was chasing the mouse. She was chasing the words. So I'm watching. She's 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 watching me right now. She's watching my hand on the screen. The bad thing, it's again not hooked to the wall yet. It's just kind of leaning up against the wall. Oh, thank you, Michelle. She is. She just turned one. She just turned one on uh, Valentine's Day. We got her six weeks after she was born. Her mama was a barn cat. And uh, they were trying to find good homes. So look at this stuff. That's my phone that keeps falling. I'm trying to see which one is faster. Look at this. This was in that bag. Okay. Probably this was $10. But I got that. That. Um, I believe. I believe this. That. But I have all these. Look at these little fun little scraps, which I thought would be so fun to do. Um, a Frankenstein page, or even just glue them all down and do like a, a collage of all these. I just how fun. I'm gonna keep pulling. And this this has like the glittery in it. Fun, fun, fun. And this one too. I don't really. I I just was excited because of the price. I thought it would be so much fun just to see. Oh, this is like stretchy. So, well, that would be fun on a book cover to you know so your book could grow or so there's that when I tested my camera I was out a little bit more I wonder if I can take you out a little bit further without knocking everything down so you can see a little bit more what's going on, what's going on here oh my goodness okay that's some more scraps but look at so these are coordinating and this one coordinates. So yeah, I could do a fun little thing. But there's just all kinds of little, and, I, and I'm trying to build up my, my fabric stash um, so I can maybe start doing something with my machine. So I thought, what a way, what a fun way to kind of kind of get this going. Oh yes, and I remember this. It was the, I love batik. I love, I have loved it since like the 90s, the early 90s. I found it, worked in a fabric store and it was just gorgeous. So there's just one piece. And then I think this was a separate lot. I don't think this was in there, but it could have been. I, 
I don't remember my brain, but these are some gorgeous pieces of batik pieces. And I don't even care that they're small. They are just, I love, and I love purple. If you don't know, I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Look at this one. That would be a gorgeous cover. So, oh man, I forgot. Oh, and there's like a pinkish purple. Uh-oh, she's over there. She's gonna, she's trying to get the fabric. <laughs> Silly goose, just uh, black and pink polka dots. Here's a piece that's marked $9.99. Uh, Eiffel tires, I'm not really into the Paris thing, but it's, uh, oh, these are coordinating, but definitely might try something. I have some Paris stamps, so here's some more Paris. Might try to do a little Paris book, might be fun. Here's some more batifing. Oh, pinks, some butterflies. Here's some glittery butterflies. Ooh, glittery. Um, and the, all these little fabrics. Well, well, some more, a little piece of that. Some, uh, this is stretch lace. It's probably, uh, probably lingerie lace. That's what it looks like, feels like. Make me some underpants. <laughs> oh, and that is it. So that, that is awesome. And oh my goodness, I ha I need to work. If you've been around and listening, I'm trying to make a black and white album. And I think that's what I had that in mind to do is use this to do the, um, like do some pages. But wow, what a steal. What a steal. I think I only... Uh, hello, hello what, look at her. She's back. <laughs> You're back. She's into everything. You're into everything, aren't you? Everything you're not supposed to. Oh, you're knocking. And she knocks everything down. Why is it that cats insist on knocking everything down? Okay. Wow. I can't, I can't believe I got all these. That's so fun. I'm so excited because just the other day I was playing with them for the first time and I only had certain colors that if Helen's still here, I got from Helen. So, oh, she just, you get out of there. She's in the box that I, that, that stuff. Come in. She came all the way over here. Huh. Little turd. All right. So I don't know what this is. I just seen the address. Um, yeah, we're gonna open it upside down. Hopefully, that's not a bad bad thing. Okay, let's see. Michelle, are you uh, planning to watch um, uh, Pink Poodle? Uh, uh, why can I? Stacy, you planning to watch Stacy's uh, sale today? That's why I'm on right now. I don't want to be, I see, I've seen her sale and I don't want to be, because at the same time, I don't want to, I don't like doing that. I try not to. Oh, these are pieces of lace. I This was actually off of a D stash that I seen. Um, Jughead, leave her alone. Jughead, leave Storm alone. that um, I found actually on, this is kind of in the way. Now I got that, we'll use that to, oh, that's horrible. <laughs> there we go. Um, I got off of a D stash that I found on YouTube. I just searched D stash and I found her and she was D stashing these beautiful laces. And wow, these are, I can, you can feel that this is an old, old piece. So um, these are like angel wings, fairy wings. Thank you so much. I appreciate Michelle. I really, really do. I'm still growing. So people don't really, you know, come and hang out with me too often, but that's okay. I don't mind. I do it just for the fun and heck of it because I like it and keeps my mind busy. 
So all kinds of like, I guess these were probably larger doilies that were cut apart. This is upside down, so I'm sure just a piece here, just pieces of lace. It was a lace lot. And actually I purchased, oh, maybe this is both lots. I don't remember. I bought, bought two from her because they were just so pretty. And then these are just, um, just pieces of lace. They're not, uh, nothing special. Not my favorite kind, but how about this? This is like, has roses. These were sleeves. She said these were sleeves that she cut off. She, it looks like maybe a little shawl that she cut up, but I'm just loving. Can you imagine that over top of a book? Pretty, 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 pretty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and she made this, but she wanted, she added it in. But it's, look at her talent. She's got some pretty good talent. She made like a little lace bag. And then she made this little thing in here. There we go. Look at that. The glares. Let me turn that off. Let's see. There you go. I think that's better. Isn't that cute? So she made that. She she said, oh, and look, there's some more. There's some little lace in here. Oh, the little ribbon. Oh. Put that over here so I can put that in my I'm not gonna put her in there because that's cute. I'm gonna um I'm gonna start a book of Jughead honey. Oh look at this one. Okay. Hold on guys. I'm gonna mute you for a minute. Hopefully the mute, the mute works. These are actually the sleeves that uh, she was talking about that she cut off something. So, so there's two of those. So those were other sleeves too. Oh, sorry, excuse my son. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. And this is like a peach color with then all oh, these. This is beaded and has ha, it has the sequins. It's like a peach color. And then this is um, like tool, I guess with, um, is it like, oh, it's a little jacket. <laughs> it's like a little jacket. I could one over a dress at a time, but there's the lace on the side and then it has the, I can't think what this is called with the dots on it. I believe it does have a name though. Um, oh my goodness gracious oh my goodness i've scored big on this one look at this those would be these could all be cut out so easily that's really cute though i don't know if i'm gonna want to cut that and then these just um i guess these were probably table cut oh uh, what you know table you probably she probably you could put like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but you know what I'm talking. You know what I'm talking. And then this one, um, is, she said it was in pretty bad condition, but you know, you could cut these off. These little side pieces. Oh my goodness. This is an awesome box. And then some blue doilies, which they're pretty like blue, blue, blue. So maybe some tea or coffee dye to, if I wanted to grunge them up. And this one, with the roses. I 
And this is like, this, I, this is a netting, but it is like super, super, super soft. So um, I'm not quite sure what the name of this is, like what it's, but it's really soft. I know, Michelle, when I seen it, I could not say no. I tried, but I went back to the video like three or four times and I was like, mm, I, I gotta. In the price, I can't even remember, but it was, it was like $40, I think. Unbelievable. This is a nice piece with the, um, and this, these are machine embroidery, I'm sure, you know, but still very pretty. Did he go potty when you let him out? Okay, great. That's probably what he needed. And then this is a blue and silver piece and it's got scalloped edging. Looks, but it's uh, silver, very glittery silver and then blue lace. It's really kind of hard on my screen to tell, but that's a nice piece. It's, um, it is cut up here, but then you have the scalloped edge down here and there's a little stain. But for the price, that's okay. Oh, Michelle, I do my best at trying to score. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds quite right, but yeah, I do my, I really am a pretty good bargain hunter. And this piece is white and gray. So it's a white lace and then it has the gray uh, uh, edging. I can't, my brain is right now. It's going to come to me. It's going to, not tubing, um, but it's um, outlined in the gray, which gives it a really neat texture and really makes it stand out. And then there was this piece. I don't remember this piece. Oh, I think this is um, just like a table, um, probably uh, uh, for on your dresser because this side is straight. So this probably went to the back of your dresser and then it hung over your on dust cover for your, it has a little hole, but um, see the birds. And I want to do a bird journal. I have all these want to's. Don't we all have these want to lists of want to? The bird journal probably will not happen this year because I'm going to do my cat and black and white journal this year. But um, I have been kind of collecting birds here and there. And then there's two other things here. So let me put this stuff back in here. Yeah, that is definitely a good score there. It was a bag of um, beads and uh, just things, probably from her, not beads, uh, button, probably from her button bucket. And they definitely are older buttons um, because you, yeah. Oh, there's a kitty in there. What the heck is that? Let's see. Looks like maybe an earring. <laughs> I love kitties. So how perfect is that? It was calling. It's supposed to come to me. It's an earring. <laughs> so that's fun. I can use that in my in my earring or my earring in my these little faces. I remember these little faces like in eighty. Geez, when was what? I have a jacket and on the jacket I have these little faces pinned on it and it was probably 87 88 maybe 89 but look at she's got I probably have yeah these were pins I, I probably have have some of these pins probably in my in my uh oh look an old key here you go that's funny Ooh, look at that. I could probably sell that. I could probably sell that on, uh, on Poshmark. It's a coach tag. Huh. Just, as they say, what I think in Australia, bibs and bops, or is it maybe England, bibs and bops. So that's fun. And then there's a box here that I have no idea. Careful, sharp, oh, sewing needles, oh, okay. These are, no, I don't know what your problem is, but he went out, or you went out, you went potty. You're just gonna have to deal with me talking to these people. I'm sorry, you just are. 
I'm, why don't you go lay down? Go ahead. Go bother Storm. My goodness. Let's see. Some old lace. Definitely. Definitely classic. I hate call antique -y. Probably antique as we would call it. antique Because nowadays vintage is in the 80s, which I don't consider vintage. But... Yeah, and then these are the old. I thought um, that was neat that she had these in the lot. So fun, 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 fun. And then, so I, that is my last purchase of on um, YouTube and such. Then, Facebook Marketplace. This I am really stoked at. I got it. Now, Gatton's brother is seven, and he crafts with me. We've done a video, but I think we did it on Facebook. We didn't do it on uh, YouTube. But he likes doing mixed media, loves doing mixed media. I wish, um, I mean, we made up our own cards, and he pulls them, and we do mixed media. And um, we've watched some of Stacy's mixed media, and we followed her prompts, and we've done another lady. Um, I can't think of the site, but I've, we've done theirs mixed media too. So he really likes mixed media. Well, I have a cutter bug and he always wants to use it. Well, if you know anything about cutter bug, they are no longer, they don't make the, the, um, the spacers for them anymore, the pads. And they're really hard to find the pads and mine are about ready to crack. So he is not allowed to use mine. So for Christmas, I wanted to get him and found, found the little cutter kids again discontinued extremely hard to find i mean sometimes a hundred dollars sometimes um they don't come with the uh they don't come with the spacers they don't come with um anything and they're wanting fifty dollars all the, all this crazy stuff, right? So I was on Facebook Marketplace, and yesterday morning, this thing popped up like 15 minutes from me for $10. I immediately was like, I there's 13 guys. It has the plates, which these were hard to like. They would they were selling these, but they weren't selling the plates. Oh, at the at Christmas time when I was looking for them, and then it came with a lot of the plates 13 of them which um when i was looking at christmas time to buy the plate uh, uh not the plates the dies um it was like crazy because people know these are discontinued but these there's so many and there's there, some of these i could use too which i plan on i plan on but i guess this is like a uh and i haven't even looked at this to be honest i haven't even taken this out so it looks like maybe there was like a outer space kit why is this so glary why are you so glare? Let's see if the glare goes away at all. This may be saying it just is no. So I'll just have to come up here. So we have that one. And then this looks like maybe transportation, a motorcycle. Oh, look at that. To the beach. Awesome, Michelle. That's what I think if I need to, because you can find, you can still find the plates for the sidekick and such. This is a uh, piece, you know, to piece it. Um, so that will be fun. Kangaroo, I like that one. There's a little piggy, a little piggy, a dinosaur. Oh, no, it, she must have double. Was, or is that a different one? Let's see. Oh, it's a different one. Cool. Uh, oh, and this is Sixel. Six, 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 six. It's a heart, which that's neat. I've not, can you see it? With, I don't have a heart that looks like that, so that's fun. What is this? Oh, this is like a computer system game. Can you have to cut that jughead. Enough whining. What is this one? We might have to cut these just to see what they are. I don't know what's it called. Phrase Boys Rock. Oh, Boys Rock. Oh, yeah, I see it. Boys Rock. Okay. Dinosaur. Rocket ship.
Yeah, they don't have the uh, the um, the provo pro uh, the actual cutter bug cutter bug. Uh, uh, what do you want, honey? Stop it! Stop whining. You're worse than a kiddo. A four wheeler. And then this is the little doodad guy, whatever his name is. I don't know. <laughs> Dinosaur. Oh, that one's on the floor. A truck. Is that a mouse or a hippo? No, no. Oh, no. Hip. Oh, oh, yeah. Looky here. So you have the black, and then you cut out the pieces, and then it goes on top of the, well, on whatever color. I see. Ah, oh, so these work together. So I'm sure the other one, here's a robot. So I got three different robots. Pirate ship, and here's the loot. Oh, see, and here's the, here's the other one. So that one's that. Uh oh, do I not, she must, she must have missed some. I wonder if she'll find them and let me know. She may, she was really nice. Yeah, because it doesn't, oh, no, 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 this one goes with this. So what is, oh, zebra? Okay, so that one goes together. And this one is a pig. So that one goes together. And there's the kangaroo. No, they're all rare. Kangaroo. Oh, cool. So that's fun. Those are fun. So um, so he, he will be excited to use this because I will feel much better him using this set. And um, these look these. And I have some extra of these um size so i don't know hi drewski gone gaming yes yeah well and this is made by cricket so this was like their original so i guess so it's so fun so i'm gonna get a piece of paper and we're gonna see how this thing works that was my last thing. Now, where's the one I dropped? Never to be seen again. Like, how could that be missing already? <laughs> All right, well, let's get a piece of paper and let's do some little cuts and see. Um, there's my six by six paper. I rearranged which as a crafter, we all know, you're not supposed to rearrange because then you can't find a darn thing. Nope, that's not it. I thought that was it. All I'm looking for. Oh, well, okay. That's gonna take so too long to find because I don't know where I need it. So I'm gonna move these out of my way over here. Scrap box. Let's go scrapping. There's just some paper. I'd rather have solid would be kind of nice so that we could see what we're cutting. There we go, some green. All right, so let's play. Aries. <laughs> okay. Trying to find one that's not too many. Here we go. We'll try this one first. So we'll do. Oh, green would be. Oh well. We're just we're just playing, right? What the rules are on this part of the beach, just like that. Okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's play. I bet you a lot of crafters. Oh, well, heck. Um, I bet you a lot of crafters use this for uh, travel. That's my guess. Oh, you know what I did? 
the paper totally wrong, so now I have it stuck in there. Hi, yeah, yeah, you'd think that I never have done this before. Let's try again. <laughs> now I've got a. Oh well, this is going to a kiddo. It's going to be. we go. All right. Oh yeah, cut out really nice. Okay, so now let's do, oh, now she's up, she's watching on the screen. Somebody's outside cutting grass. Not me, my lawnmower's broke. <laughs> okay, now let's cut out this little piggy and see how this works. This is cute, he's gonna really like this. Oh. Storm, the TV's big, but you're sitting right there. I can't see what I'm showing. <laughs> Let's, oh, this is his nose. <laughs> For using scrap and not thinking, just doing. That's kind of cute. Oh, hi, Shirley. How are you? How are you doing today? That's cute. You missed all the good stuff that I bought. And of course, it has like all these little spots if you want to be, you know, tedious and, and put those on. Not today. <laughs> Not today. Let's see what else. Let's play some more of these. These are fun. I wonder if I have any sitting around. Here's some. She is just watching my hands on that screen. And that's pretty neat. All right, let's cut this out again. And since green's the only solid color I have besides, I can come up with white. So we're going to do this. <laughs> Did you hear that, Storm Storm? I hear that funny sound. All right. Oh. So we have. We have him cut out. Right. Now, let's do this. Let's get a piece of white. This one. Yeah. This little bugger out and see see what the zebra looks like yeah I can't believe this this is this was a good deal I'm glad that I got her contacted her oh her his little feet are separate, so I have to be careful. Okay, so we got the little feet. Storm, are you learning over there? Seeing everything that's going on? All right, his head is separate, so let's get that out. Put that on there. He's like a go green zebra. <laughs> Eco-friendly. Uh, oh. I mean, I'm only rolling it through once and it's cutting 
pretty darn good. This one's a little attached, but um, it's very well could be because of its inside there. Yeah, it was just because it was inside there. It wasn't even attached. It just wasn't coming out. Look at that. Oh, you guys can't see. Don't you, don't you fret. I will bring it up to you guys. Gosh, the glare. Well, like I said, I moved everything around. And I'm using the new computer, new you new old computer. Nope. Nope, nope. It's my overhead light that's causing it has to be some because of some sort of direction. Wait a second. Wait a second. I pulled y'all really far away when we were opening boxes. So let, whoa, let me pull you back in. And let me see now if I can get the glare on. There we go. So now I have that wire shadow in, in the way. Why do I have the wire shadow? It's cute. So these are really fun. I mean, I didn't get them really. I mean, I got them for, for Orin, but I didn't get them necessarily for me to use. But I definitely could see me using some of these. Where's that heart one? Like I said, I've never had the heart one. Let me see, it was one of the red ones, I believe. Yeah, let me cut that out. I know, surely those tiny pieces. Yeah. That piecing work doesn't always. Oh, this is that. It's a different brand. That's right. This is that's why. I need my other. I need a different plate because these are too thick to go through here. I have that same. Glad I didn't force it. That wouldn't have been good. Let's do this one. I do have another plate that I had purchased. Um, it's smaller than this, I believe, but I believe that will be the right thickness that I can use that other brand. Yeah, little dinosaur. <laughs> shadow. That's funny. I wonder what this why. Oh, it's probably so prominent because of the, uh, because I turned this light off. And then I turn this light off. If I move the light, hmm, well, I'm not going to be on too, too much longer, I don't think. So these, fun, fun, fun. That was a really, really, really good deal. $10, can't believe it. So, so he will have this to play with. And I will probably, I do probably have some of my dies, which will be nice to use um, this little thing to pull out. Like for example, all of these dies that I'm working with right now, probably, Jeez, I wonder even if this cat is fit. Yeah, even the, the cat. Even that big cat will fit through there. So, my fairy. Oh, yeah, look at that. I may never have to pull out my big one again. I mean, that one fits on there. So, I mean, the only bad thing is the paper has to be, well, the paper has to be, you know, this size already you can't send a big piece through but oh yeah he will he um i stopped over the house because 
this actually was in between both houses and he wanted to come over and spend the night <laughs> um, last night but Shannon is on 12 hour shifts and she needed to get some sleep and I, I didn't want him to be here and making all kind of noise so put this down here perfect okay Yeah, I, wow, now that I think about it, it, that will be so convenient. I can put the other one up and, you know, only pull it out when I'm doing, you know, big projects or whatever. And then I'm a scrap person. I put those in my scrap box. These are cute. Mm -hmm. He's got little spots on too, so you can... How bad is that? Flipper? Put the little spots on it. Oh yeah, okay. I am so full. I have so many dyes now that um I have so many dyes I bought from Helen. Um, when she was trying to move, I bought so many dyes. What I really need to do right now is start using this stuff. <laughs> that would be good. Um, now that I have all of these wonderful oxides, I'm excited about using those. Um, one thing that I want to make, and I've made before, is I do want to make some more sprays. The other day for the fun of it. I um, I had seen on a video, and this was quite a long time ago, so I do not remember who it was. It, actually, I watched quite a few because it was uh, taking your regular old um, uh, acrylic paints and making making them sprays, and you can use water. And a lot of people say use alcohol so that it doesn't mold. And uh, so I pulled out. Um, this um, was a learning because I didn't clean this container, which I should have because I had, um, I guess it was in the tube. And it was alcohol ink that I had made. So I put, you know, so I, but I put some alcohol some water, I did both alcohol, some water, and then um, some acrylic paint to make spray. And I used it the other day and um, it worked out pretty good. So that's something I, I love to spray. I don't know what it is, I think because I'm a messy artist. So I kind of like the whole, um, with the spray, you're not really doing anything specific. So that's kind of, you know, I think why I like it. But, uh, so this worked out. And so, um, um, I don't know if I ordered them, but I did have them in my, my bag, some of these off of Amazon so I can make some colors because I just, I really enjoy, I enjoy, um, the spray, you know, here's one. Of, if you weren't, didn't watch me the other day, this is my ink spray that I made. And this is purple running out but uh i don't know how it will work with the acrylic why don't we see probably just gonna yeah just kind of lay over top of it make mud i made some pretty mud so um definitely you know the alcohol inks makes the paper as well but this is um some of my in the past, I made this, this is a homemade alcohol ink, and then I sprayed it on some photo paper and made made this, and then I guy cut that out. Um, here's another one that, from one of my sprays, and then I die cut that out. So I love doing the back, doing backgrounds because you can, the uh, when you cut it out, it ends up being so cool. That's one. Oh, you can't see the colors because they're so light. Let's see. Nope. 
very yellow on screen. I'm not jaundice, guys. Oh, I didn't. I don't think I showed how to make them on screen. I made. I made these off screen. I literally with these. Um, I used markers. I ripped uh, permanent markers apart. You know, like I just took a sharpie, and I even have used dollar dollar markers where you get six of them in a packet. Um, but you know, you just take them apart. You rip this. You get a. You get pliers, and you rip the nib off. You take pliers. That's sometimes the hardest part is ripping these two apart. Then you put the um, the felt inside. Yeah, I cut that felt in half because it's usually a little long. So I cut it in half and then I use a razor blade and I score the plastic tubing it's in. And then I take those two pieces, I shove them. This one I took, um, I took the pieces out. So, oh, sorry. Some of them um, I have the pieces in, which I showed. Let me, since you're here, I'll show you the the ones that I have, let's see, here's one that you can really see. They swell up, so the, the foam swells up, and you put the alcohol in. Um, you know, it really matters how many, how many markers. Oh, and I put the nib in there, too. You can see, I don't know if you can, but on my end, you can see the nib that I pulled out. There's that long piece right there. That's the nib. and. Um, and I put alcohol in and it matters how much, to me, this is how I do it, how much, how deep you want the color. So if you put, you know, let's say you put, you fill this up with ink, I, I would want, you know, maybe you want a deeper red. You might want to use two markers and put the marker in there. And then, oh, to like, to make this, this, um, now that I've shaken it up, Oh, it's like, it's like right there. I think I did like about half. I did half water, half alcohol. And then I just took my bottle of, um, this is just the apple barrel. And I just kind of squeezed it in, put the lid on it, shook it up. And I was like, oh, I want it a little bit darker. So I put a little bit more in and shook it up. I, I have no, um, I'm definitely a let's play until it, it works out kind of girl yeah it works the sharpie thing works out really good that's all i had that's for for a year that's all i used is my homemade um and if you look after the holidays like at christmas time you can get those sharpie packs but um you know sometimes you want to use more than one marker so um I mainly, you know, I'm going to be honest at the dollar store and such um, is where I made most of mine from dollar, you know, dollar tree or dollar general dollar packet permanent markers is because um, I hate ruin. I hate wasting my Sharpies, <laughs> especially if it, if it doesn't work out, that's the nice thing. If it doesn't work out, then I can just throw that, that set of, you know, for that, for that it's gone. And then, you know, and I've also, um, I've used it up and I've got to this point. That's why this isn't thrown away because I've got to this point and then I've added more alcohol and it will give me like not as intense of a color. So I still then have some alcohol ink. Oh, perfect, Michelle. Well, I had thought, um, I know, and I haven't done this yet, but that it's on my list for the next time I go to the, uh, uh, craft reuse place in Austin, I'm going to um, get some of their permanent markers and see. Yes, Shirley, and I have seen that. My only issue is I don't want it to clog, but I have seen that and I've considered doing that, but I have so much, um, I have a box that's probably 12 by 12. Yeah, I think that box is a 12 by 12 box and it's full of, I I got for $20 full, and they don't even all fit in there, of that um, Tattered Angels, which is all glittery uh, sprays. $20. I got that from somebody. I did have to travel about 30 minutes um, into Austin to get it. 
but um, that was, it was worth my drive. I drove a Prius, so it didn't cost me anything <laughs> in gas, really, maybe a dollar in gas. But um, yeah, that, uh, that's why, you know, I've thought about the glitter and I would like to, and I know that they, they definitely are selling because how popular making those cups are. I know you can find glitter everywhere. Yeah, I think I, I was messing around. Let me see what I, I did just recently. Oh, here's some that, um, this is just, um, again, I don't care what these necessarily turn out because once you cut them out with a die, it looks so cool. So I don't really mess around too much. And this literally, these are the refills for um i got <laughs> again uh, a really really good deal i can't even remember less than a dollar a bottle um for the refills for uh tim holtz inks and i just kind of put it on there and squiggled it around i did that just the other day because i wanted to uh play and I was playing. So, um, there's some more that i did i'm looking for more that I did yes the other day with my, with my oh these are there's some pretty I think these turned out nice. I'll pull these out and show show what I did. I think this one this is going to be a really cool cut out using a die to cut this out. This there's some tattered angels I did. Uh, this purple is actually this spray that I showed you. So that's the purple on there. And then I just splattered some of the silver i got some silver tattered angels on there and i think this is like a copper so that's going to be really cool with a die cut out on it um here's some here's some that i did again this is this is with uh, my purple and then i think this is a, a blue distressed ink that i have i have one spray that's actual <laughs> it's distressed now this is not that pretty but i was messing so um, I kind of just took some actual ink and was seeing what actual ink would do on this paper. So, but again, once you put a dye on that and cut it out, it might end up looking really cool. Yeah, and you can find this this photo paper so cheap now. So many people, you get it free with your printers and people don't use it. That's how I got a lot of mine is because when you buy, you know, you can buy a printer cheaper than you can ink. I did that a few times, um, but now I have a better printer. So look at, I think these, this is going to make an awesome cutout. This is actual um, ink that, um, so it's really, I guess, pigmented color. And I kind of just dropped it on there. And then I sprayed, did I spray water? Or did I, I don't have, it has to be water because my, I don't see my spray bottle that I would put in, uh, alcohol in. So I just, um, so that's going to be really, can you imagine? I'm sure if you guys watch me, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely punch something out on that. And this is using the same co colors. It's looking black on my screen, but it's, it's um, blues and purples and reds. So it made some, some paint. I just thought that was pretty. Oh, and here's, um, this here is the purple. So kind of what I did down here, it was the purple. And then I sprayed, um, sprayed some of my, my new paint on it. And these are actual, I was messing around with my design. Um, uh, I don't, I, I think these are inks, not the snow. I was using the oxides and I was messing around with, I got some of these, um, I got some of these, but I don't, I got, you know, these little things, but, um, oh, and I'm rubbing it all over. I didn't wash that one. Let's get this one. I'll have a green thumb forever. So I got some of these, but I don't have the little tool. So I was like, what can I use? So I got the glue, so I put the uh, Velcro on there, and I stuck that on there. And so I was uh, practicing to see how how it would blend using my made up tool, my homemade tool. So 
it, it did pretty good, I think. I mean, especially it was probably my first time using something like that as a tool. And look how pretty this one is. That's going to cut out so pretty, especially like if you cut, uh, do a die cut of a flower. Or you know what I really love is when I do my uh, when I do my different fairies because you get the glittery, you know. So I love it when I have that. I don't know what this is. Oh, I oh, you know what this is? You don't because now I'm going to tell you. <laughs> this is uh, I think um, I took my uh, distressed inks. I had the little inks, and I spread it all over this, and then I took water and sprayed it to see what it would do. Just to kind of I was playing while someone I wanted to go live. And then somebody else was live. And that's the thing is I I know it's um I'm coming, I'm kind of late to the game going live. And that's okay. I understand. And I really do it for therapy for me. So um I used to keep really busy when I had a boutique and I used to do live sales on Facebook all the time. And it really kept me busy and I loved it. I just love the interaction. And that's why I came over to YouTube. And I love the interaction being the person talking, typing, talking. But I also like being on this end of it. So and this is a red. It looks, Since I don't have a red spray, I think I must have used maybe, a, uh, maybe an ink, sprayed it with water, and then I used some Tattered Angels over top of it. Again, I don't look, go for, to make these look pretty. I go for these to just make and then... Then I cut, cut, and this I just think is neat. This was one I used, like, I was touching, getting the excess off it. And I just thought it turned out because it's kind of grungy, and then it has these colors on it. Really cool cutout, too. Problem is I like doing these, and then I cut them out, and it's like, what am I going to do with all these little things? I need to find a swap and just send them to people. Look at this. Yeah, this is my, my wipe off that I was using to cut those fun little things out on my new cutter or on Oren's new cutter. So, yeah. Just love those. Look at those. Look how they turn out. Love scraps. Scrappy, scrappy. So, yeah. So I wanted to show you, and yeah, I'm so excited. Look at this. I'm just, I can't get over all of this. I mean, this is going to look, so she's got it tap, taped here or something. So then find me an end, my love. Find me an end. Every time I think there's an end, it's not an end. Okay. Well, there has to be an end over here somewhere, right? There it is. Okay. I just wanted to play here. Oh, yeah, look at There's little flowers in there. That's going to be so pretty because I could do it like that, or I could even do like half leaving the flowers so that you see the flowers and then this would like stick out of the book. I put it on the front. And here's some, I'll just show you since I'm on a roll now. Here's some of the black and white. Here's some beads that I'm going to use in my black and white journal. Oh, I used to have a little pal. I must have moved it over there. I'm, I'm trying to, every time I come up with, see my black and white stuff, I'm trying to keep it together so that when I go to actually um, do it. I very well might have gotten these from Carla. These are, I don't know. Well, this bead has a mistake in it, but it's kind of a, well, maybe not a mistake, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. See how it's kind of weed? What? Well, it's like, it's like squeezed. <laughs> Beads are a new thing to me, Michelle. Um, do you know Carla? Carla's Crafty Corner? She's been, she was doing a D-Sash stash sale the last two months. And I have purchased my first beads from Carla. My first purchased beads. Now I have jewelry that I've destroyed and I have made, and I've made paper beads. 
um, which I really like to do. And I've done a couple, I think two videos. I did a video a year ago when uh, I was doing, like I jumped on, I thought, oh, I'll try this. But then I kind of lost interest. And then I did a recent just stream of doing, that was more of a how I do how I do beads. And then recently, like all of my new videos are just come hang out with me videos. Oh, no, it's C-A-R, uh, L-A, Carla, I'm sorry, C-A-R-L-A, -A, uh, Carla's Crafty Corner. And uh, she is on a stay staycation. She's taken a little bit of a break because she was on every single day for about three to four hours every single day doing these dashes and she had all kinds of things but i know she has lots of beads and she will probably continue to do beads shirley are you still here shirley is actually the moderator for the for the sales but um i believe she's coming back in march and although she's not going to come back every single day she is going to start coming back um she doesn't have videos she takes her she does her videos and then she she uh pretty much takes them down. She doesn't leave them up. So um, when you go, don't, you might think, oh, this person doesn't have, but she does do videos, but she, um, and she does, her beads are beautiful. They're glass beads. She does jewelry. So, um, and sells jewelry. So she does, but that's how um, you want to see some beads. You say you love beads. Let me show you what I have purchased from her since it's just pretty much me and you hanging out. I, and then you don't have to go watch old videos, which again, like I said, I don't, I don't mind that because I mean, where are they? I, they, I can't be looking past them because they're so dang. Oh, I found the six by six paper <laughs> that I was looking for. Found it right here in front of my face. Okay, I will show you some beautiful, beautiful beads. And then look at these. These are bead caps that I purchased from her. And this whole box are beads that I've purchased. We have minutes. We have 45 minutes, Michelle, before we have a place. We have a place to be in 45 minutes. <laughs> I understand. Grab some coffee. I got some coffee. Yes. Go grab coffee. It's all good. square probably be doing my nails next time you see me I'll have better nails I'll probably do them during the sale <laughs> mm, so those are uh I don't know the names. So I, did you see the square ones? And then I have these square ones. I think these are, these are like a purple, a, a, a pur brownish purple, you know that, but some more square ones. Oh, they look brown. Maybe they are brown. And these are fast. I'm just gonna show you, cause I think they're gorgeous. I don't know what to do with them yet. I've been watching, uh, I don't know if you follow Keisha, uh, Keisha and Aaron, do you follow them, Michelle? I I, I don't know. They're I know, I found them. They're not part of like I don't mean to sound. I don't want it to sound weird, but I know that I didn't find them through Stacy's group. I found them a, a different way. Oh, these are like little. These are pretty. And uh, I was on 
Erin's sale. She had like a 10 hour sale yesterday. Look at that. You can't, it's like a teardrop. So it has a real tiny hole up here at the top. Oh. Anyways, there's a whole, look at these. Maybe I'll, since you love beads, I will send you some in with your napkin because after I got these in and I have another box. Oh, good. You know, Keisha. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, then Erin too, then, you know, uh, I have a whole nother box, but I don't think, I think I behaved and didn't get, didn't get beads from her on the second, on the second box. It was mailed out yesterday. I'm trying to see. Oh, there's some more. Look, I have another bag of those brownish purple ones. If you see any that you're like, oh my gosh, Rebecca, those are amazing. Let me know. Let me know. There's some just pretty. Oh, I thought these are, these are neat. I like how these have like the, can you see they have like a black in them too. Oh, and there's purple. Oh, that's not, oh my goodness, that's not purple. That's pink <laughs> and orange. Are you the, or do you love orange? Somebody I know loves orange. I'm not an orange person. I'm not even sure how I got orange beads. Cause I probably went nuts and was like me, me, mine, mine, mine. These are purple and pink. Those are pretty. Uh, come on camera. You were doing so good earlier. Um, so Oh, I'm not really into these two colors together, orange and green, but I thought those looked neat. And some, uh, what are those, rice? I have some white ones too. Rice bees, I think they're called. I'm trying to find the unusual. Oh, look at these. These are neat. They're like flat circular oh these i like these too can you see that it has like a nope gotta have that one has to come out because it's pretty has like a rose on it I'm trying to find out where they the shading oh. I, I really like that one that one's pretty What do you do? Buy, oh, buy stuff. I see. <laughs> you sit in, you're not sure what you what you get, and then you end up, oh, look at these. I don't know if you're a purple girl, but these are not, they're not shiny. They're like, um, what is that? Uh, what is that called? Um, not shiny. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> I can't think. It's going to come to me. Always does. There's some more oranges. Oh, look, I have some more. Or did I put those? I might have put those right back down in my way. Look at those are pretty. Some blues and purples. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Angela. You're another, you're another bead girl. I know. Bead girl's in the house. Bead girl's in the house. Um, just some, there's some, uh. This is called diamonds. I don't know. I'm just going to have to come up with Matt. Yes, ma'am. That's the word. Not the guy Matt. But but not shiny Matt. Here's some, here's some bling. Somebody say bling. I got you some bling. Here's some more of those. I love purple. Somehow I... And, oh, yeah. Okay. I... I Went a little nuts on the big beads because I like using these for, uh, I'm going to make some dangles. So my beads are, it's a pretty teardrop, fauceted, fauceted, am I saying that right? Big bling. Oh yeah. I've, I've got you. Oh, look at this. I love this stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Definitely a journal or something, but it knows me. It's really, really sparkly. So they're like a teardrop and then faucet, faucet, faceted. I can say, oh, it's my accent. That's why I'm not saying it right. Um, but those, and there's like a little black bean in between there, but 
but they almost look like they should be on a chandelier, huh? I mean, look at that. Woo! How could I pass that up? I couldn't. So there's some bling, some blue bling. I mean, that, I don't know what I'm going to do with those. <laughs> I just, I went a little nuts. I thought this one was neat with the different stones in it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but I got them. And then I like owls. Owls, that's my, um. So I like owls. Cats first. Oh, can't even see them. Cats first, but I do like some owls. I got owls around. So um, this will probably end up being something I make and put on the wall. Angela loves those strands. Yeah, Angela, I need to watch your stream so I can come up with some ideas. I don't know if you were in here when I said, I don't know what I'm doing with all these beads because I've never worked with beads before, but I went a little nuts and decided I needed them. I mean, I've worked with making my own beads. But I just love these. I just love those. <laughs> Whatever, I don't know what I paid for those, but whatever it was, it was totally worth it. And I would do it again. <laughs> okay. And then, and then I don't know if you went to get coffee or not, but these are all the bead caps. Uh, well, not all. These are some of the bead caps. And I like bead caps for, I'll show you what I do. What made me buy these beads. <laughs> we'll show you. Yeah, StreamYard, I am, this is I'm almost still, StreamYard, I'm surprised at how well the lag is. She's not been around. Let's see where they at. Oh no, someone came in. Someone came, oh no, here we go. Jeez, I thought someone came in to my craft room and stole my stuff. <laughs> a bandit came in and stole my handmade beads. So I love making boho beads. So the reason I was buying beads is literally for these little beads. That's how it all started so that I could make my bohos. This one just has the beads on the end. This is what I do with sorry when I buy it. This so when I wrap the a rice bead. This is one of my first ones that I tore tore apart. I think it was a bracelet I'm on. <laughs> oh, why aren't you? Come on now, focus. Focus. And then uh, the video that I was talking about that's over a year old, I showed how I made my, my paper beads. Actually, these are the paper beads that I, um, I believe I was making on that video. So yeah, those are my, I better put them back or else I'll think somebody came in and stole them again. Those those uh, boho bean stealers. Okay, um, it's in here. Oh, and then these are these are the metals. Yeah, you got to check Carla out. I, I did. Um, I got a nice big haul. Look at these. These are great. I don't know if you like fairies. Shannon's huge fairy, so um, fairy person. So I like to buy fairies so I can make her different fairy stuff. I don't know if you can see her. Can you see the fairies? So yeah, all the all the all the metals. A lot of oh, this this is from Carehart. I know you know who Carehart. I bought that at a Carehart 
care heart, all the keys. Can you see the keys? Well, now that we've walked through my through my uh, craft room, actually, I rolled through my craft room. And now that we rolled through, not not that isn't even. We can pretend that it was my craft room. <laughs> but um, so, Michelle, has the stream been pretty smooth? Has it or has it been choppy? What about? I know I've had in the past problems with the voice. How's it been? Because I'm really loving the TV against the wall. It's, I can see the, although, um, you know, StreamYard is a little bit slower on the comments. I do really like that I can, I don't have to squint. I can see the, you know, and once we hang the TV actually on the wall, that's going to be pretty good too. That's awesome. Good to know. Thank you so much because that was one of my concerns with using the older computer. I didn't know if I was going to get a good enough stream. So that is good to know. Move that back over there. Um, it's so funny. When I had my table up against the wall, right now I have it in the center of the room, which I really like because um, you can get to the table, you know, on both sides of the table instead of just the one side of the table. So I really like it in the middle of the room, but I'm having a heck of a time with this light because now it's like right over top of my table and it's really causing a glare. Okay, that's good to know. Wonder if it's um, me moving around or if I'm getting, when I get closer to the microphone because when I'm, you know, I move the microphone down lower and up higher. I did download because this computer didn't have the software for the for the camera. So I downloaded a program, which is a little bit different than the program that was on the other computer. But you can zoom in and out with the program that I, the new program that I downloaded. So um, instead of moving the camera, I wonder if that zoom, if, if doing that would work a little bit better than than uh, moving the actual camera. It would be nice um, if I need to probably get an extender for the camera because right now the wire, um, the, my computer, I used to be able to take the wire and wrap it around this way, you know, because the camera is right here above me. So I used to wrap it around this way. Well, now with the TV over here on the wall, I have the computer under my desk, so the wire for the TV is still on the floor, which is fine. Um, the dog and cat come in, <laughs> and I can unhook it, you know, when when I leave, so I don't have to worry about it. But um, this wire for the for the camera kind of is right in my line of view, so if it's longer. I wonder, I wonder if I could wrap it over that way. Then at least, you know, I could wrap it on the end of the table and then under the desk instead of in front of my face. That's good to know. That's good to know, Michelle, because I don't don't think I think I was having a little bit of trouble with the other computer. And somebody had told me that maybe it wasn't compatible, which it was really funny when I did not think when I looked up the the laptop specs and the computer specs that the laptop was going to be smaller, but the laptop was basically just a word processing to get on the internet, view things, but not really, you know, and then the computer I had purchased five, six, five years ago, I purchased with the hopes that my son would want to upgrade it. I bought a very basic Dell computer because they're upgradable. And I was hoping he would want to take interest, but he is more interested in the software. He's more interested in the coding, not the building. Yeah, yeah, Angela, so it's not in the way. That's, yeah, because I'm looking right. You know what, like if I look at it, you go cross-eyed because you're looking right at that wire. <laughs> so I'm kind of, so I try not to even see it, so, but 
it's still there. And I don't want, I, it'd probably be good so that if I can, I don't know, I have to figure out something. It'd be good if I could go this way, but this way, I think the computer would be too far away from then the TV. So, but yeah, thank you for hanging out. Uh, Angela, do you know uh, Pink Poodle Crafts? I don't know if you're at all interested or if you have to head into work. I know you work a lot of nights, but uh, Pink Poodle Crafts, she's having a sale this afternoon starting at 3 Central Time, so in 30 minutes. Uh, she'll come up if you're interested at all. But um, she's a fun, fun crafter that I follow. Even I've, I don't recall you being there. That's why I mentioned it. Maybe you are. She has a lot of people on her streams and I usually, I know I've been with her about two years now. Oh, you're off tonight. Well, if you get a chance and you want to see what she sells a lot of um, crafting items. She not really, I don't ever see beads, Michelle. No, it's more like uh, paper crafting um, things. She sells a lot of, um, let me think real quick here. Sorry, she usually has. Um, she usually has uh, wallpaper books, sample books, and uh, trims. Um, it's all, you know, usually it's nothing newer. A lot of her things are, you know, nicely used. And she does everything um, auction craft stuff yeah yeah fabrics yeah she usually has fabrics so maybe check her out if you want there's another lady i watch that's having a sale and it starts at like 6 or 6 30 and she's a new person i just started following so i'll probably pop over let me see if i can get her hers too i feel like i'm an advertiser but i i mean it's my fellow youtuber uh, community, right? And the, what we're supposed to do? What's going on here? I have my internet shut off, so I'm all on Wi. Uh, not. I have my Wi-Fi cut off, so I'm all on. What is that called? Phone? What is that? Your mobile. So it's a little bit slower. Let me see. It's so hard to. I know. I know. I'm getting off. I'm getting off soon, little little baby puppy. Let me see. What is her name? And I do believe, I do believe I've been on some of her. Where is that? I wish there was an easier way to find them. But once some, once they put up their, like, notification that they're going live, it bops it down to the bottom of your, um, of, like, your, your, your subscription feeds. So give me a second to see what her name is and let me think what she, uh... oh gosh darn it. I seen it like 10 times this morning when I was scrolling through. I was like, yes, yes, reminders on, reminders on. <laughs> um, where are you at? Okay, I think I'm coming up. I also have a heck of a lot of people I watch, I guess. Do you, um, give me a second. You guys are being so patient. You're already gone. You're like, I'm out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, is that it? Nope. Well, heck. Yeah, I wish YouTube had a better way to find. This is crazy. No. There's, there's, uh, this is what hers will, that's what, um, Angela, that's what hers looks like, Pink Poodle. Pink Poodle Crafts. So it should be around here somewhere because I think they it was about the same time that they popped up. And I'm kind of new to her channel, so I can't even 
begin to take a guess on who it is, what her name is, what her channel is. But I do believe I've purchased from her once before. Oh man. Mike Rowe, he put out like 10 videos yesterday or the other or two days ago or something. It was like, come on, Mike from Dirty Jobs. I think he's hilarious. I love him. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, I tried. Uh, it's not coming. It's nowhere. It's going to come up as soon as I leave. Hmm. Huh. I don't even know. I wonder if I go over here. Yeah. Does anyone know the better way of finding? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you can pop in and out, Angela, if you, you know, yeah, for sure. Hers will last probably until 9 or 10 tonight is normally how long she goes. And it's just a bunch of everything. And she goes through them pretty quick. She doesn't, you know, diddle-daddle at all. It's, you know, she, I think, does two minutes and she moves on. So some of her things go pretty high, you know, and some of them... Some of them you can get for a good steal. Yeah, not having no luck, darn it. But I definitely know it's a different type of, you know, different type of thing. That's what, um, that's what I like. I like trying to find everybody's sales just because everyone sells so many different things, like different types of things. Some people sell new things. Um, some people, like one of the sales that I really don't like the most is them selling their own crafts because I'm more, my whole thing is I want to make my own. Not that that's a bad thing. They should be selling their crafts if they can. That's awesome. But um, I like to buy things to make my own. So um, I'm going to go and Michelle, I'm sure I'll see you over there at Pink Poodles. And Angela, if I see you, um, I will say hi to you there. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed all of the fun things that I've purchased lately and uh, have a great afternoon. Keep spreading love, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.